crucial responsibility to examine why out of the nearly 34 years of our independence, 24 years have been spent under military rule. It is clearly manifest, not least among the armed forces themselves, that there is a grand, groundswell of opinion that the cycle of military intervention be terminated. You are the heirs of a legacy that is rapidly transforming the suspicions of different linguistic groups into a peaceful transparency of inter-ethnic affinity. In addressing your wondrous task in this conference, history urges you to achieve all personal or parochial impulses that could compromise the execution of your scared duties. This exercise is a unique and delicate responsibility. You have been chosen as the representatives of the people who believe that you are in a position to find enduring solutions to our country's problems. I enjoin you to resist any diversionary motives and to desist from intemperate and disruptive pronouncements, which would be a representable disservice to our people. This arrangement and assignment is beyond any personal or sectional group motives or vested interests. You should therefore not allow yourselves or this forum to be used by others to perpetuate acts inimical to the smooth conduct of the program of this conference. Much heat and little light has been generated on the issue of the terminate date of this administration. No amount of assurances that our rescue mission is short, decisive and conclusive seem to persuade the regular cynics who find the media speculations of our motives and plots very financially eroding. We are aware that it is neither in our personal interest nor that of the nation to perpetuate ourselves in power. <laughs> Government made no input either by way of submitting any memoranda or drawing up your agenda. At the same time, we are aware that you are more than just a constitutional assembly. You do not have before you a prepared draft constitution. You have instead a comprehensive agenda suitably atomized for detailed discussion. Our role is merely that of facilitators, recognizing as we do that there cannot be a presumption of greater patriotism and commitment to national unity than that which can be made in favor of eminent Nigerians like you, honorable members. No fear should be entertained that anyone will lightly set aside your discussions and conclusions. The march to nationhood had taken its first step in a long journey through a course that has never been charted before.